Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to this video. My name is Leah, if this is your first time at my channel. I usually post vlogs, but I make videos about reptiles because I have a lot of them. I posted a video last week talking about my least favorite things about my pet Euromastix. Today I'm back to post a video talking about my favorite things about her because I obviously can't post a video just talking shit about her and then obviously not post this video. So if you wanna watch the video talking about my least favorite things about her that I posted last week, that'll be in the description below and this is talking about my favorite things about her so like i said i have a euromastic spinelli a saharan euromastix she's from africa we got her in june of 2021 so we've had her for like a little over a year and a half now these are my top five favorite things about having a euromastix something that i love about her that's my favorite thing is she loves Lentils. If you have a Euromastix, you probably know that to be true. Freaking love their lentils. It's so cute to see her like digging through her salad and finding all her lentils because that's what she wants to eat, definitely. And then the vegetables, then the greens. It's also so cool like hearing her like because they're just, you know, dry lentils. Euromastics have incredibly strong jaws, if you didn't know. Obviously, they literally demolish raw seeds, but they also have like a very strong bite. I've never been bitten by her. I wish to not. Yeah, I love that about her. It's so cute seeing her dig through the salad looking for her lentils and it's honestly just fun to hear her chomp them with her dinosaur jaw. Something else about her is that she seems very smart. Of all the reptiles we have, she definitely seems like the most aware and the most intelligent and she always tells us when she wants to eat, you know, she goes and sits in her bowl and waits for us. You know, she just seems smart and aware and intelligent and like there's actually something going on in there and not just Something else that I love about Euromastix is that they're very unique and a lot of people like don't seem to know what they are. I heard in another reptile video that they think that Euromastix like really haven't like had their moment yet. The dragons and iguanas have obviously like had their like big moment where everybody kind of like knows what they are. And Euromastix really haven't had that moment yet. They haven't had like a big blast of like popularity where like everybody wants to have a Euromastix. Um, which is good because they're wild caught typically, but it's cool because a lot of people ask me questions about her And a lot of people are like the most intrigued by her We like, send out a Christmas card with all our reptiles on it and people are always so intrigued by Spinelli I understand why because it looks like a little dinosaur so it makes sense But it's fun that people are really intrigued by her and interested by her and like I said another thing I kind of just already mentioned it But something that I love about her is like her physical just like appearance in itself. I love her like like soft, smooth, silky body. The Euromastics are like incredibly like leathery smooth, if you didn't know. She has like such a super cool spiky tail. We always say she looks like a little dinosaur. She looks like in the movie. Di My boyfriend and I recently watched the movie Dinosaur. And if you watch that movie, like the dinosaur that's literally like their dog along the way. That's literally like what Spinelli looks like. I love her cute little cheeks. She has like the cutest little face. I love when she like pants. She kind of looks like a dog and that's hilarious. But I love her cute little face and I love her like her, her shitty little claws. I literally love everything about the way she looks. She's so cute and adorable. And she is like obviously very muted in color. But you can get Euromastics that are like incredible colors. They can be like bright green, bright blue. Euromastics are cool. <laughs> Something that I also like about Euromastix is that they're vegetarians, they're easier to feed and that's not just like, you know, it's convenient for us, but it is, it's just like kind of interesting. It's kind of interesting too. And I guess my favorite thing about Euromastix is the fact that their enclosures have to be kept so hot just because on a personal level, having thyroid dysfunction, I just relate, you know? I love that she wants to be in her super hot little home and then in her super warm little cave all day and just sleep and be warm. I love that. I relate. And we have the same vibe. We're on, we're like on the same level. So I really like that about Spinelli. And like I mentioned in the last video, something I don't love about Spinelli is the fact that she wakes up so early and goes to bed early in the day. So she is kind of like a 6 a.m. to noon, 1 p.m. kind of gal. And um, I am not. So that's why I don't like have her with me in the video. I would have brought her in for the video. But yeah, I'm not gonna do that because I don't want to force her out of her sleepy cave. So that's why she's not here in the video, but she is with us in heart and soul, just not body. <laughs> anyway, that's all my favorite things about my Euromastic Spinelli. I love keeping her. I love taking care of her Euromastic. She's so super sweet and so super fun. If you want to see the video where I talked about my least favorite things about having a Euromastic, that'll be 
down in the description. Anyway, that's all I have for this video. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. Again, my name is Leah. If this was your first time here, I hope you decide to come back. It really helps small creators have engagement with their videos. So if you choose to like this video or comment on it, I really appreciate it. It's really nice. It really helps the videos and helps my channel. If you have Euro Mastics, let me know. Maybe something I didn't talk about. Something that you like or dislike about having them. Let me know in the comments. That's all I got. Bye!